Alright, so uh, this is a quick tutorial about essentially getting a chain asset from Blender into the UDK physics asset editor. So um, essentially what we have here is just a regular chain mesh and an armature. Um, I just created the um, you know four links or whatever and then just duplicated them out. And uh, then I just went in, into vertices and added uh, a name uh, to each link um, and had the vertices selected. Then I created an armature and then just uh, parented the mesh to the armature with automatic weights. And so that means that <coughs> when I go into pose mode for this and select a bone, it's going to rotate that uh, link right there. And it's also going to deform the other one, but we're not going to worry about that. I don't. I didn't add any constraints to these or anything like that because I don't. None of them should really make a difference in UDK, as far as I know. They they won't do anything. Uh, it's not textured, but or it's so it's not going to look great in UDK. But that's not what this tutorial is really about. Um, but essentially, after that, I just exported the uh, object or the two objects into UDK. And so let's go ahead and open UDK up. Um, and essentially, what I did is the chain FBX, right click, and then did um, create new physics asset. Um, I have a bunch of them because I was testing different settings. But um, what I did was um, I did it to sphere collision since the, the chains are sort of spherical, the links are each spherical. And um, I believe I left it at dominant weight and just left all the other defaults. So, um, and let's go into this one right here. So, once we get in, uh, I had issues with my collision geometry. You'll see if you click on it. Uh, with I think you have to have B, um, the B option showing right there, uh, where these were like. Uh, not, uh, they weren't really moved, but they were scaled way larger. So you have to go through on each one, click, and then scale it down, and you just hit the space bar until you get to the scaling option. And I think that's move and that's scale. I don't think there's an easy way to tell the difference, but as far as I know. But um, and then I went through each link of the chain and got it all sized down so that they were correct. Because if they're not, they'll like separate the mesh and all that. Um, and then I went into um, click this and click rendering mode for the mesh just because I like that and um, then when you select these there's uh, options here I did swing limited and twist limited um, and then I put the swing limit stiffness to 1 and twist limit stiffness to 1 but for, I would play around with those settings a ton because I haven't had a chance to really look into those and see if they are the most optimal way to do it, but if you hit S, you can go ahead and it'll act like it's a physics asset. And I need to um, toggle collision rendering mode. You can hold down Control and then right mouse button, and then you can release Control. That's your chain right there. Um, I'm trying to work on parts where obviously it's very stiff. The chains don't act like links. I haven't been able to figure that part out yet. Um, because it'll just go straight to the ground. It won't pile up like a real chain would, uh, which which is unfortunate. And I haven't found a way to get that working correctly. Um, also, this when you swing it around, it's going to separate by force. I think it seemed like there was a an option an enable projection. I tried that. Um, didn't seem to work for me, but maybe there's uh, something else I need to set might be one of these break thresholds but what happens if we take off the swing and twist limited and then we can change that to zero change that to zero and do tools copy joint settings to all joints so you don't have to do it for every single one which is very nice um, and you go back oops right click it's kind of funky like that. You can see it's already twisting up funny and it's 
uh, separating the meshes. So that's why you have to have that selected. Um, and uh, there's some work for me to do on this, I know it, because this one actually looks a slightly more realistic um, for chains, because it seems to sort of fold up like it's supposed to, so I've got to figure out exactly, uh, maybe I can dampen out the twisting, and uh, but we'll see. Um, so that's why I had the swing and twist limited. Maybe if I just do twist limited, and I think, did I? Let's go ahead and try that. And again, hit S to play. And if we, ah, you'll notice where it bends up like that, which is obviously not what a chain is supposed to do. Although that looks more, slightly more chain like. But anyway, those are all. Um, still have issues, but those are all settings you can play around with. I mean, if you know of better settings, please let me know in the comments if you know a better way to do this. I mean, I got annoyed because in Blender you can just go ahead and if you're using the Blender game engine, which I'm not, because it seems like it's not quite as good as UDK. I mean, it's nice because I'm developing in Blender, so I could just go to Blender game and then go to physics and then go to you know rigid body and do up all those settings and then just it would run the simulation it would act like a nice little chain I mean that's that's nice but um, doesn't have all quite the features that UDK does but um, so essentially uh, that's as far as I know how to get a physics asset from blender into UDK I really wish it, you could just set up the physics assets in blender game and then export them to UDK but they're really isn't an option for that but um, yeah if you know of any better settings for getting the chain looking more realistic let me know so alright